Hi everyone and welcome back to my podcast. So today I want to ask you a question. Are you a business owner or are you an entrepreneur? Which one are you? Do you actually know what's the difference between them? So the way I see it, the main difference between them is all about the mindset, all about the way they are working with their business. So entrepreneur will do it from the side that they will notice a problem, they will discover a certain issue and they will come with a solution and that's how they do things versus a small business owner that all you see is the business from a style of like I'm selling I'm selling something regardless if it's a product or a service and I want you to start to think about it from the side that even if you manage a business and you may be answered that you're a business owner or you may be answered that you're entrepreneurs but when you heard my explanation you said, okay, but I'm not actually thinking about the problem. So I want you to start changing the way you think. I want you to start understanding that today with the marketing that we have in the last like decade is that we don't sell a product or a service. We are solving a problem. We coming with a solution to a certain issue. We coming with a solution to a certain need. Um, if in the past from a marketing side, People used to first think, okay, so let's say my fridge is broken, so I know that, right? Realistically, like logically, I know that. Then I'm going to act, I'm going to go buy a new fridge, and then I'm going to start feeling something. I'm going to look at this and I'll say, is it blending nicely in my kitchen? Have I made the right decision? Yes, no, and all of that. But in the last like more than 10 years, this has changed. So it's more about that today we actually feel first, then we act, and then we think. And the nice thing to see is that if you look at an example from commercials that they do for products for babies, right? So they always come and make the mom feel guilt in a way. So they come and say, are you a good mom? Are you doing whatever you can for your baby? Is this the right thing for your baby? Do you, like they're going to make her feel so guilt that she wants to be the best mom ever. So she's going to go and buy it. After she's going to buy that product, then she's going to start thinking, okay, is, was it the right decision? Did it actually help my baby? Did it actually got me, you know, brought me like to help my baby walk or like does he feel like that he full from the food or whatever? And that's the difference. But in order for you to come with that marketing technique that you actually make people feel first and then to come and act and then to think, in order for you to do that, you really need to understand them. You really need to understand your target market. You really need to understand with what are they struggling with? What are the issues that they're experiencing? What are their pain points, right? What's sore for them? Where do they feel it? Where do they feel it the most? Once you know that, then you can come with different messages that it's all about the feeling. So if I know, for example, that like people are struggling with certain things with my business, I'm going to Ask questions like, are you feeling frustrated that you're posting all the time but you're not getting results? Or for any type of business, I'm going to make you feel, when was the last time you received a bad advice about your baby or different things like that? So if I'll come and I'll make you feel something, that you're going to listen to my question. You're going to say, oh my God, yeah, I also felt like this. Oh my God, I also, wow, wait. It got automatically going to get people to be more, to engage more. But also it's going to connect them to me, to my brand, to my product, to my service. And that's what you're trying to do. So try to look at your business from a side. And you know what? It's not only if you have a business. Even if you work as a, a salesperson uh, for different companies, doesn't matter. Look at your clients, right? From that side that, okay, what is the issues that they're experiencing? What is their, their problem? What can I, what do they look for from the side of the needs? Okay, what are their needs? And then say, okay, I do have a solution. Now try to sell them the solution. And you sell the solution by actually making them feel something that they can resonate with, that they can connect to. And then you make it easier for you, for them to come to you 
and it make it easier for you. So yes, the problem with this, that, you know, to build that connection, to build that trust, to build a relationship with them, which is one of the most important thing when you're trying to build a brand, and that's what's called organic marketing, that you're building connections through that, you're building, you're building their relationship with them, and from there you're building trust, and by that they will become your loyal for you, and they will be your best brand ambassadors. But in order to do that, there is no magic solutions. It's not going to happen in a snap of a finger. It's not going to happen like this. You really need to work in it. And I know that lots of people don't have the patience to wait for this. But if you do it and you do it, try. And that's the reason why also a lot of entrepreneurs, and especially if you look from, you know, high-tech industry, for example, they have lots of patience to work on a solution until they're going to excel it. Until it's going to be the best of the best. And that's why some of them getting to a part of a success that people pay millions, if not more, for their technology. Because they realize what is the problem. Now they're working on the solutions. And they've got the patience to work right on the solution until it's going to be so accurate that they can actually launch it and try to sell it. So as well with your business, if you work things gradually, and you're working smart, and you're building it up, that's going to help you. That's going to help you build your brand. That's going to help you to become a good entrepreneur. And that's going to take you to the next level. And it doesn't matter if you don't think that you have it in you. I promise you, you do. You just need to change the way you look at things. You just, just need to change your perspective. And again, and it doesn't matter, even if you're a salesperson, it's still the same technique. People buy from people. And people buy from people they trust. Doesn't matter if, let's say, I'm a sales representative of a big company and now I'm coming to sell. They know that brand, they know that company for many years. But bottom line, one of the main things that also going to convince them is that connection between the two people. And if they feel that they trust you, they will go with you. Even if you're going to tell them, listen, we're launching a new product, do you mind trialing it? They don't care because they trust you. They know that whatever will happen, you've got their back. And they will come and and, and test it and trial it. And that's the thing. So always bear in mind that people buy from people. And the thing is that if as an entrepreneur, you know, your life is not easy. There's a lot of ups and downs. It's like a roller coaster. And I'm going to keep repeating it because it is. It's like one moment you're down and one moment you're up. But if you're working like like from the old version of like becoming a business owner, you're going to find yourself a lot of time on a survival mode. That all you're trying to do is to get enough business coming in for you to pay your rent, all your expenses, and maybe even above it. But if you work smartly and you plan right and you work on a, a, with a strategy and you work step by step and you understand, okay, you identify your target market, you identify their problems, and you come in with the solution and you know exactly how to bring them the solution because you help them to understand that they need, this is the solution that they were looking for. You're telling them, no more for your pain. I've got the solution. You becoming their hero. And by you becoming their hero, they're going to be loyal for you. They're going to trust you. If you can come with something that's going to help them, who doesn't want it, right? Who doesn't want to receive something that's going to make their life easier? If I'm going to tell you that I can teach you uh, certain techniques that are going to help you to get your uh, baby sleep well, if I'm going to tell you that I have certain techniques that you're not going to have lower back pains, or if I'm going to tell you different techniques that are going to help you grow your social media, and that's what you need, and that's what you're looking for, you're going to be so grateful, and especially if it's going to work as well, that you're going to become so loyal to that brand and you're going to be so loyal that you will spread the rumor. And that's the nice thing and that's the amazing thing. And that's part of the important thing when you actually, and that's why I'm a big believer in organic marketing. Because in organic marketing, you're building a strong foundation. You're building that base and you're going step by step. So I really want you to start thinking on it from the side. Where you want to be on the scale? Are you want to be a business owner from that side that, all you see is the business from a side of like selling or are you want to come on the other side of the scale from the entrepreneur side and look at it from the side. Okay. I understand the people in front of me. I actually see them. I am resonating with them and I'm coming to them with a solution. 
And that's the difference between people that will, in a way, and again, and it's in my opinion, it's, that's the difference between if you're going to take your business and going to stagnate for a longer period of time, or you're going to take your business and climb up. And I can see it on some of my clients. I can see it around me from different things, also from different reading and other people, that that's how it works. All the big, all the people that succeeded with the business were the people that also were not afraid to fail and they noticed and discovered that there's a certain problem and they just quickly came with a solution. And the other thing about it, and that will be a, a topic by itself, it's procrastination, is because if you found and discovered a certain problem, go do with the something now. Come with the solution now. Work on it the best way that you can. But do it. Don't wait. If you're going to wait, someone else will do it for you. And that link back to my previous podcast that I spoke about opportunities, that opportunities are everywhere. And it's really up to you to discover them. And if you're not going to discover and grab them and take them and make the most out of them, someone else will do. So you don't want to be on a me too strategy. You found a problem. Cool. You have the solution. Amazing. Now make sure that you're coming with that solution to the right people, that you're coming to the relevant people, and don't be afraid as well to niche yourself, because that's going to really help you. And if you know what, and if you're coming with a solution to a problem that you think that others well as well have it, and so many have it, find your own voice in it. Find your voice to share it. Find your way to get people to resonate with you. Find a niche in the niche as well. And that's the nice thing, because I can look at it from my side, I teach about social media. I teach about branding. There are so many people like me out there. But what's the difference? Me. The way I do things. The type of people that I'm reaching out to. The relevant people that are for me and I'm for them. And on the other side, I'm also really working on the building that relationship with them. And that's what I really want you to try to think. So if I'm going to sum it up, Work on building relationships by actually seeing and discovering a certain problem, a certain need that need to be taken care of. Come with that solution and really come from the emotional side. Make them feel something. Make them feel... First, don't be afraid to make them feel that pain, okay? Make them feel uncomfortable that they're finding themselves moving from the chair or like standing up. If you can make them feel, it's either by laughing, uh, by crying by getting angry, any type of feeling will make them actually engage and respond. And that will, in a way, and if on that specific post or element, you're going to tell them, okay, now you feel like this, but I do have the solution for you. Then they're going to feel <sighs> relaxed because you've got the solution and they will want to come to you. So I hope it will help you. I would love to hear what do you think you are if you're a business owner, a small business owner or entrepreneur or If you're going to change your mindset, then you're going to start working on solving a problem and not selling a product or a service. And I'll see you, I'll hear you in my next podcast. Bye.